Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to make a video today talking about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that is this guy right here. The manual transmission. All right guys, so in case you can't tell, I'm actually, I have a cold and uh, even though it doesn't sound like it, I actually feel all right. And today was a nice enough day. I figured I'd go out for a drive, have a little conversation about something that uh, has been brought up more than once on my channel, and that is manual transmissions. Um, so basically, this video is going to be kind of my opinion, my take on the whole manual versus automatic uh, war. <laughs> I guess you could call it a war because. People are constantly fighting over it, it seems, especially in the Corvette community. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of the the whole, uh, oh, automatics win races, but manual transmissions or impress high school girls or something along those lines. And it's like, you know, if, if you strip away the, the ridiculousness out of that, it's not necessarily wrong. Nowadays, automatic transmissions are faster. It's that simple. They're going to shift faster. They're better for the, the drag strip. For the most part, they're even better on the track. But, I mean, there's always pros and cons on both sides. So, like I said, automatic transmissions, they're faster nowadays. The idea of a manual transmission years ago was the biggest, really the biggest point for it was at one point, you could row gears faster than the automatic transmission computers could shift for you. So... It made sense back then more so than it does today. Now, with that being said, I will take my manual transmission over an automatic any day, especially in a sports car. And it, it has nothing to do with how fast my zero to 60 times can be. I know I'm probably not the fastest manual shifter person out there, but at the same time, I, I appreciate the connection, the feel that I get while driving a stick versus an automatic. Now, there I've driven a lot of automatics that were very fast cars. One of the first GTRs I drove was a um, modified, it had 956 wheel horsepower on it. And that, that's, that's an impressive amount of horsepower. And it was an automatic, obviously. So whenever I first, I test drove it at a dealership, some hole in the wall down in the uh, in Cranberry area. And I, I didn't really have any intentions on buying it because I don't like the idea of buying someone else's modified car. Um, so whenever I got behind the wheel of it, I really just wanted this to see what it had. And I mean, obviously I pressed down the gas and I'm driving it and it, it is fast. There's no, there's no doubt about it, it's fast. And I'm driving it along, I'm hitting the paddle shifters, you know, trying to enjoy it as much as I can. And by the time I'm maybe five minutes down the road, I look over at my wife and I said, I'm bored. So a car with a th almost a thousand horsepower, I was bored. It's just not, it's not a fun experience for me. Now, don't get me wrong. This is definitely an opinion type thing. This, is, this does not have to be your opinion. I'm simply stating what I feel is better between the manual and the, auto the automatic options. So, like I said, my opinion does not have to be your opinion. Now, even though I'll say that I will prefer a, a, a manual transmission over an automatic any day, that really only applies for me in a sports car, muscle car, whatever your fun car is. If this is your daily driver and you drive in an area where there's a lot of traffic consistently, maybe my opinion would change on that. Now, I've driven my car in traffic and it's, it's not necessarily horrible, but it's not, it's not like I'm jumping for joy that it's so entertaining either, but it's not bad. Um, but with that being said, my daily driver is now my Colorado. That is an automatic. And I didn't even attempt to find that in a manual. I don't even know, I don't even think it actually is an option on that truck, but I didn't even attempt because I didn't want it in a manual. The majority of the driving I'm gonna be doing with that truck is gonna be uh, towing. It's gonna to be uh, towing a boat mostly. Um, a lot of uh, winter driving where I'm gonna need the four x four option. And if I do, most of the time I work from home, but when I do go into the office, there's a good bit of traffic involved. And again, 
It's not horrible to drive a stick in traffic, but at the same time, if I have the option, I'm gonna take the automatic for that purpose alone. Now, with that being said, if I drive my Corvette down into the same area of, of where I work, which I do often, my brother actually lives down around that area, um, I don't mind it. The, the traffic doesn't bother me. Now, if I'm doing that every single day of my life, it might get to the point where that would that would matter a little bit to me all right now with all that being said um i just want to reiterate I, I i don't want anybody to think that this is a video of me bashing or putting down the idea of an automatic i fully understand that there is definitely situations where you would want an automatic and maybe even some situations where you don't have an option at all for a manual transmission i know a lot of the guys on the on the forums most of them are older but there's actually some of them on there that are uh, war veterans that maybe have uh, a leg issue of some kind or maybe are missing a leg. And if that's the case, obviously, manual transmission is really not going to be an option for you. So I totally understand it. It's, it's definitely not me saying, hey, get a manual or you're a girl. I, I just want to clarify some of the things I've been reading about this because a lot of people are out there saying, exactly that or the opposite you know get an automatic or you're a girl basically and i mean the argument's stupid but at the same time there is some uh i guess relevancy to it because it's like you know if you have your opinion you know you're, you you prefer a manual transmission some people do some people prefer an automatic there's really no clear winner here um each one has its own pros and cons like i said and some people don't even necessarily have a choice. So saying anything about if you drive this transmission or that transmission is just stupid. Now I know, like I said earlier, odds are very good. The end of the manual transmission option is coming soon. And I, I really fear that day because it, it really is gonna take something away from what I enjoy with my cars. And it, it's, a, it's a shame that, that that day ever has to come because there is a hundred, a hundred reasons I could give you why keeping the option available is a good idea, but it, it ultimately, in the end, it's not going to matter. So eventually, unfortunately, manuals are, are going to be going away, and I, I don't, I don't deny that fact. I, it's been coming for a while, and it, it's sad. But whenever it does come, and we. Everybody, all the manufacturers out there switch over to strictly automatics, probably at that point 10 speed autos with maybe all these cars have dual clutch transmissions. It's still, it's just not going to be as enjoyable for me. Now, is that going to stop me from buying a sports car and trying my best to enjoy it? No, it's not. But at the same time, it is going to be less enjoyable for me. And any of the manual transmission enthusiasts out there, I know you'll agree. And it, it, it is a shame, but this is the way the auto industry is heading for multiple reasons. Um, so unfortunately, that's it. I know with the manual transmission option, uh, even right now, it's getting scarce. There's only a couple cars, car manufacturers out there that even offer, offer it on any of their higher end cars anymore. I know there's been a, a bunch of uh, different Lexus cars that I've seen that I'm like, oh, those are pretty nice. And I'll go home and I'll look it up. And not only is it priced just astronomically, but uh, a manual isn't even an option. And that's one of the biggest reasons I like sticking with GM cars so much is because a lot of GM's cars obviously give you the option for a stick, but a lot of them, the more performance oriented ones, don't even have an automatic option. The manual, like the the Camaro ZR1 1LE, that's stick only. Back in the day, I had a Cobalt SS supercharged and then eventually got a Cobalt SS turbo. Both of those, manuals only. And it's like, as much as I can appreciate that, from the, the other side looking in, it kind of sucks. There was no automatic option in those cars for anybody who was interested in something like that. But, I mean, it, it's just, it says something about GM wanting to keep that option around. And I, I pray to God that in, their, in the new C8 coming out that the manual is still an option because if it's not, that's really gonna, that's really gonna weigh on me on whether or not I even get one. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be the video for today. Um, if you liked it, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and shoot some comments down below. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Let me know what your opinion is on the whole manual versus automatic transmission thing. Um, 
I'd, I'd love to hear from you. you. You guys, your opinions always matter to me. I, I take your questions and I try to make new videos with them. So if you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next upload.